In this video, you'll see how to integrate ChatGPT with WordPress using Uncanny Automator. We'll be using it to automatically create a new MemberPress course and course outline from a form submission. And we'll see how to let the AI auto-respond to blog post comments. It's not as scary as it sounds, I promise. First, you'll need to sign up for a free OpenAI account. It's the company behind ChatGPT, in case you didn't know. Then, you'll need to install the Uncanny Automator plugin. I already have an OpenAI account, so now I'll install the plugin. From your WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins here on the left sidebar, and Add New. Then search for Uncanny Automator. It's this plugin here. Click to install, and activate it. Then, once the plugin's activated, you'll see it added to your sidebar. When you click it, you'll be taken to this page if you haven't installed Uncanny Automator before. Click to connect your free account. If it's your first time using Uncanny Automator, you'll have a chance here to create an account or log in. I was already logged into my account, so it completed my setup. Now, I'll go back to the dashboard. Next, go to the Integrations page here in Uncanny Automator. Here, you'll see different services that you can integrate with. If you click on one, it takes you to the integration page on the Uncanny Automator website. You can see a list of trigger events and sample ways that you can use it. Uncanny Automator works by creating recipes, which are sets of instructions. With a recipe, you tell WordPress that when something happens, then an action or actions that you choose should happen. Like when a MemberPress member cancels their subscription, you can automatically unsubscribe them from your mailing list in MailChimp, just as an example. To start building an automation between MemberPress and OpenAI, we'll need to create a new recipe. To do that, under the Uncanny Automator plugin, click Add New. Then you'll choose a recipe type. Select if you want the automation to happen only for logged in WordPress users or for everyone, site visitors and people logged in with a WordPress account. For my automation, I'm gonna be using a form submission, which I want everyone to be able to use. So I'll choose this option here. Next, give the recipe a name, something that describes what it does. Then you'll select a trigger, which tells Uncanny Automator when this recipe should run. So when the trigger is activated, the action that you select below will automatically run. You'll see triggers available to use based on what apps and services that you have installed and connected. For this example, I'm gonna be using a form that I created in WP Forms. So I'll select WP Forms. You could use Formidable Forms or another form platform listed here on the integrations page if you wanted to. And you can see a list of them here. And then you can select a trigger here or search for one. I'll select a form is submitted. And then here I'll select my form. And then save. Next, I'll select one or more actions, which is what will happen when my form is submitted. So for the action, choose an integration. First, I'll find OpenAI. Before I move on, I need to connect my OpenAI account. I'll click OpenAI here and then choose Connect Account. If you click here to see the setup instructions, you'll find a link to OpenAI where you can create an API key. So from here, click here to create a new secret key. And then copy it. And click OK. Then go back to Uncanny Automator. And paste your key. Then connect your account. And you can see that it worked. So back in the recipe, now you can select your actions. So with OpenAI, I'm going to select Use a prompt to generate text with the DaVinci model. You can only choose this option if you have an Uncanny Automator Pro account like I do on my sample site. If you're using the free version, select Use a prompt to generate text. The DaVinci model is a learning model that's more advanced than the other options. It can often generate text with less input information than other models. Check out OpenAI's documentation on models for more information about them. Okay, and then next you'll select a temperature. The higher the number, the more risks the model will take in being creative. And the lower number will play it safe and give a more well-defined answer. I'll choose 0.7, so pretty creative, but not too wild. I'll go ahead and set a maximum length here, just to save on my word credits that I have on my free OpenAI account. And you can click this link here to learn more about that. 
And then here, the prompt, is where you can get a little creative. If you've ever talked to ChatGPT, this will be similar. Write a short set of instructions that you want it to write. For my example, I'm going to say create an outline for my online course on the topic of... And then now, we're going to use what are called tokens inside of Uncanny Automator. Tokens are variables that are used by the automation, like someone's name, email, or an input in a form, which I'm going to be using. Before moving on, I'm going to open Pages here on the left sidebar in a new tab. And I have my WP form embedded on this sample page. So here you can see two inputs, course topic and course objectives. These are the inputs that I'll be using in my prompt. With your case, make sure you're asking users good questions that will give information the AI needs to give you the best results. A big part of working with AI is giving it the right information to complete a task. Unless you're an AI whiz, it's a lot of trial and error and seeing what works for you. Play around with ChatGPT and see what kinds of commands and questions give you the best results. So back in my recipe, to insert a token, click this button here. Then I'll click my form. And then I'll select my first form input, course topic. And then I'll say, my course will accomplish the objective. And then I'll click to insert another token. And then select course objective. So this is prompting it to write an online course outline about the course topic that will achieve the objective of whatever the user typed into my form in the course objective field. So instead of this token text here, it'll be replaced with the text of what was actually submitted in the form of these inputs before feeding it to the AI. So this entire prompt is the command given to OpenAI. So on the back end, it'll write a course outline. But now I need to add another action that tells the automation where to put that text. So I'll save this action. Then I'll click Add Action. And now I'll select WordPress. Then I'll search post and create a new post. Then under type, I'll find course. So this automation will create a brand new course in MemberPress. Then under status, I'll make it a draft so it's not public. And the title will be new course idea. Then I'll insert a token again, go to my form and insert the course topic. Then for the content, I'll insert a token, and this time select my action from OpenAI, and then insert the response. So the response that I get from OpenAI in the previous action will be inserted in the course text. Then I'll click to save. So now we have the submission of my WP form triggering these actions. First, it'll prompt OpenAI to generate a course outline based on my prompt made from my form inputs. Then it'll create a new draft of a MemberPress course and insert the information onto its title and text. Next, I'll enable this automation and make it live. Now, if I go to All Recipes, you can see my recipes live. So it's active and just waiting for some form submissions. So to test it out, next I'll go to Pages and find my sample page with my WP form embedded on it. Then I'll fill out a name, email, and the course topic will be cookie baking. Then I'll give it a short objective to teach students how to bake the most popular cookies from scratch with minimal equipment. Now I'll submit the form and I can see the submission worked. Now I'll go to Uncanny Automator and Logs. And here I see the automation ran. So let's check it out. I'll go to MemberPress and Courses. And here's my new post draft. And when I open the course, I see the outline that it generated. Not bad. It has different sections and some lessons to act as a starting point. Introduction, equipment, basic techniques, recipes, pretty cool. Now, this didn't build the course for me or anything like that, but it acts as a good starting point if you wanted to get some ideas on how to structure a course about baking cookies. 
It's not meant to do everything for you, but this creates the course for you in MemberPress so you don't have to do that manually, and it gives you a nice outline that you can build from. You could paste this into a Word document and then build your sections and lessons using it as a reference. Or you could temporarily paste the outline here in the Curriculum Builder and then use it for reference right here. And then going back to courses, as ideas come in from your form, if you don't like some of them, you can just easily delete them here. This is just one idea of something that you can automate. Poke around in Uncanny Automator and see if you can come up with some cool automations that you can use with OpenAI. And then comment what automations you're making below. For example, instead of creating a MemberPress course, maybe you just want your course outline to be inserted into a post. So going back to my recipe, in that case, you would just select WordPress and create a post. Or maybe you want a copy of the outline emailed to you. You can just add an additional action and then select email. Again, this is just an example to get some light bulbs flickering on some cool AI-based automations that you can make right on WordPress. See our blog post on integrating MemberPress with ChatGPT to get some other ideas. You can also use Uncanny Automator to do more WordPress-specific things, like auto-reply to blog comments. So to show you a quick example of this one, I'll create a new recipe here in Uncanny Automator. I'll set it to logged in users, and then name this blog comment reply. Then I'll select WordPress for the trigger, and the user's comment on a post is approved. Then I'll leave this set to any. And you can see here that it's set to any post. Then for action, I'll select OpenAI, and choose use prompt to generate text with the DaVinci model. I'll set the temperature to 0.7. I'll set a length. And then for the prompt, I'll type, write a blog post comment reply to. Then I'll select a token. Choose the user's comment here. Then I'll type, address the commenter by. And then I'll select the commenter name. Then I'll add in one more command just for fun. Use a polite tone. You could also say something like match the commenter's tone or something, but you might run into some trouble if the commenter's snarky or rude, so we'll just keep it nice and polite. Then I'll save this action. I'll add another action, select WordPress, and choose add comment to a post. For my post ID, I'll use this post ID here under my trigger. I'll insert my email as the site admin. And the comment will be my response under my OpenAI action. Then I'll save everything and make it live. Now, once I approve a blog post comment on my site, the automation will run and post a response. To test it out, I'll go to Posts, and then click to view one in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. And then first, I'll copy this post's URL. And then, I'll log in as a test user account I have in my site, which is a WordPress user account. Once I'm logged in, I'll go back to the post. And then now I'll leave a comment. Yo, can I make this in an easy bake oven? And then once I submit it, I can see it's waiting to be approved. So back in the WordPress dashboard, I'll go back to posts and then see new comments to approve. I'll go ahead and approve it. And then now when I go back to posts, I can see another comment. And here's the comment from my automation. Now I'll head back to the actual post and here's the original comment and the reply that ChatGPT gave. Hi, John. So we can see that it addressed the commenter like I told it to. Thanks for your comment. Unfortunately, I don't think this recipe can be made in an Easy Bake Oven. It requires a regular oven. I hope you still find something to make in your Easy Bake Oven. So a pretty generic but useful response. 
Now, we don't actually recommend letting ChatGPT take full control of your blog comments automatically. It's just to show you what's possible to hopefully jog some ideas of similar automations that you can make. Using ChatGPT for your MemberPress site will mostly be used to get started with creative work, to give you a starting point so you're not just staring at a blank page for hours. So instead of auto-posting a blog comment, maybe you want the AI to just write it for you, and then you can edit it from there with your voice and perspective. Or ChatGPT can cut down on menial tasks, like we saw with auto-creating courses and outlines. Outside of automations on WordPress, fire up plain old ChatGPT to create blog post outlines, plan and organize a membership site, improve card abandonment emails, and more. See our blog post guide on ChatGPT for WordPress to see how, and for more ideas. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.